Hello again. It is Tuesday and uh, I had the minifig swap at the lug meeting last night and you know regular lug business as well. Had a great time. <clears throat> I ended up selling a whole bunch of figures. I traded a bunch of figures as well. Uh, I actually ended up getting more figures than I probably sold because uh, I got rid of some higher value figures for some lower value figures in quantity. So that's going to be fun. And we'll talk about that more when I start dealing with those more. Um, but when I got home, I also had a couple of orders to deal with. One was just a brand new order. <clears throat> and the other one was an order somebody had placed I'd missed a piece in. So when they messaged me about it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I see that I did. Sorry about that. And I said, so first thing I did is I, uh, you know, let them know that I can send it out as quickly as possible. But that since I have to ship it, and it's gonna, I'm gonna be paying for shipping anyway. If they wanted to order anything more, I could just add it in. It wouldn't be any additional shipping. So they did buy a few more pieces. So that was nice. Um, so I got those taken care of. And also, as I was doing that, I was setting up the next part out, uh, which is actually over here. So I'm kind of doing the same system that uh, my help had figured out. I set down the cups. Now what I did a little differently is. I left a space between each color. So like this is black, these two full columns, and this one. And then it's got the little popsicle stick and it says black on it. And then there's a gap. And then there's a blue piece. There's only one blue piece. And then there's a gap. So that's the way it goes through the whole thing. And then at the very end, there just happens to be a gap after yellow because it almost perfectly fit. Um, and I did have to make some additional popsicle stick color labels because there was some colors that are in this set that weren't in the last one. And as you can see in the drawer there, there's a few popsicle sticks that aren't used in this set color-wise. Um, and then I've got these for larger pieces because there's going to be some of those. Uh, there may even not be enough of those. And I'll roll a cart over here as well. Um, but then I opened up all the sets and sorted the bags. Uh, so this is the set. It is the Safari Wildlife Treehouse 31116. And I have 16 of it. So not as many as the last set, and it's at, it does have a few more pieces, but it's going to be less pieces overall. I think about 6,500 is what it's going to come out to. But I've got the big bag, there's two smaller bags, and one really small bag, but they're not numbered. So I think that means that there won't be any piece duplication between bags. I think that means that all the pieces of you know this and this are in this bag, same thing with a small bag. Like, you're not going to find any of these pieces in any of the other bags. I think that's how the unnumbered bags work. So this should be a relatively easy sort. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about finding a piece again later or anything like that. Um, so I need to find out if they're going to come over again soon or not, or if I'm going to start working on this myself. I do have another order today. Um, it's just for three different parts. They're, they're getting nine total pieces. It's not a large order at all. Uh, one of the two orders yesterday was just a lot of minifigure parts, uh, a bunch of legs, torsos, I think they got one head, I can't remember at this point now, and then a few other random like utensil type pieces for the most part. Uh, and then two one by one uh, pearl gold plates, just kind of in the mix there. Um, but yeah, so that is what I've been up to. Um, it, speaking of those pearl gold plates too, the, it was an area in my inventory. So when I went to pull those parts, it said I was supposed to pull two and have four left. There was only one in the drawer. So I was like, uh-oh. Uh, and I went and there is a method to use a program called Notepad++. And what it allows you to do is part of it is you can search a file or a group of files by searching on perhaps a whole folder. Um, and it'll search for all of the matches for whatever you're looking for. And this was uh, pointed out to me in video form that everybody can see by David West. And I'll put a link to his channel in the vlog. Uh, and so I searched for pearl gold. I could have searched for the part number for the one by one plate. But I think there was going to be way more hits of that in all the different colors than there would have been just for pearl gold. What I would like to do is figure out a way to search for a string that has the color and the part number both in it. I don't know if that's going to be possible or not. But in any case, so I went through and started going through all the sets starting back in August when I was parting, up, parting out and putting stuff in. 
And then I found a set that said, okay, I parted out five copies of this piece, um, and it should be in a such and such drawer, which was a different drawer than I had pulled from. So I went and checked there, and lo and behold, it was there, five copies. So yes, I was able to get the second one I needed for the order and then have four left. So my order total, or my total inventory was correct, but the drawer hadn't gotten updated. So uh, there's a little concern that there might be a more of an error going on in there, but at least now I know where that was from and I can quickly check that. Uh, so that was a little bit of a drama last night, but I got the packages out, no problem for that. I've got this part out ready to go. And uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what else. Uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit before I work on the order that is in currently because I wanna see if I get another order and can do multi-order picking because I did that yesterday. I picked two orders at once, it was kind of cool. Uh, neither one of them were particularly large so it wasn't probably particularly necessary that I did it that way but I like learning that and getting used to that because you know if I always just go and pick when there's one order, when I do get two, three, four orders, it could confuse me more. So I'm trying to train myself to understand it a little bit better. Uh, but that is all I have at the moment. I can't think of anything else specifically. So we're going to go and get some work done and perhaps have another little video clip coming from later today. Thank you very much. Hello. So we are over here in the first aisle between the wall and the first floater uh, because we're going to do a little bit of a, a clip here. Uh, the first part is I pulled the order. I waited a while and nothing else came in, so I pulled the order and uh, here it is. Yeah, nine parts. Uh, two of them in flat silver, the screwdriver at the top and the handlebars at the bottom, and the other one in light bluish gray. That's it. So we'll have to package that up and send that out. Uh, but I've also been working for what seems like way too long, a couple of hours at least, and I finally got through making more labels. Uh, there are nine pages here. The ninth page isn't full, but there are nine. So you can see the ninth page isn't full there. Uh, there's two labels missing already, uh, and that is because of this. Uh, I replaced the label over here that got ripped in placing it. You can kind of tell which one it is in there, because it doesn't look like the rest. Uh, and the other one went on to a shoebox that I have no idea where if a shoebox ever got labeled with this one or not, but he, the AS001 has a label now, in addition to the handwritten one I wrote in there. Um, but the rest of them are for the pick-a-brick cups uh, and space underneath. And I went so far as to make labels for these drawers over here, the white drawers. Um, I decided to go with five columns so this one over here is going to go away uh, and then I also made labels for four slots up top which may end up being these inside out boxes which kind of look like they'd only fit three but if you're I'll make four a little extra I did have some problems I'm glad I did test sheets first on normal paper um, the barcodes for the upper section because of how I had it were either too long or too complicated or something so I shortened it down and uh, they work. So I basically I tested them right in brick store, created a fake document uh, with some parts that I don't actually have and just scanned into remarks to make sure it would work. And the first time through it wasn't working. So I had to go back and redo all the work and then get it fixed. And I did that and got it printed. I was very happy that they printed squarely on the sticker sheets initially so that it wasn't a case of having to worry about uh, um, you know any of the uh, the stickers not showing correctly but yeah that is what I've been up to not a whole heck of a lot but that is what I've been doing it as always thank you very much hello again from the aisle and I've gone through and I've labeled all the pick a brick cups now anything that's too deep only the outer cup got labeled uh, that way I don't have to worry about peeling stickers it'll always have a permanent home there so if I end up selling out all of this piece, I will pull the secondary cup and use that somewhere else perhaps, but this cup would stay here empty, waiting for another part. Uh, in the few places where I don't have cups yet, there's just no cups yet, but I've got the stickers waiting for them. I could pre-sticker some cups, but I'm just gonna not worry about that at the moment. Um, I also, like I said, I labeled a couple of those. And the only thing I haven't done yet is go back and for a couple of things, 
uh, like right here, I had gone ahead and continued the numbering from here. Now what I did when I printed stickers is I did not continue the numbering because I wanted to leave the possibility that at some point down the road maybe I'd change what was here. And so I assumed, okay, well let's say I have four cases here, four units, and let's say if they're all 64 units, what's my high number? And I think it was like 275 or 270 or something like that. So everything down below will start at number 300. So that allows me to change these and only have to worry about changing the numbers for that and not the ones below. Uh, so yeah, I need to renumber these. Uh, I need to renumber these because they actually have numbers and that one over there, which is a large one. And that actually, that's a set. That might actually not stay there. That might end up being going somewhere else eventually, but for the time being, that's where it goes. And I can't remember, I think this one over here needs to get numbered too, because I think it goes in that vertical as well. But otherwise, everything is currently numbered that has parts. Um, I haven't done anything with the numbering of these units yet. I want to get this stuff moved into the crouch space before I get to that numbering. I will also pull uh, these this one unit here and then the, the Lego themed ones below that. They'll get pulled out and moved elsewhere before I do that. I decided against using these because they just pull right out. There's nothing that stops them uh, and yeah i just i think i don't like that for that reason all uh, the rest of these pull out but then they stop there's a stop so i don't have to worry about pulling them out too far and that's about what i've got done uh, i did run into some errors uh three or four where uh my inventory was saying i had a piece in the uh cup area and it wasn't there or I did have a piece in the cup area, but it wasn't coded to the cup area because what I did is went through my inventory and for each section, I just pulled up the drawer number one. So AC01 and basically those two were supposed to show up and they probably did. Uh, and then after I pulled it up, I highlighted each one, scanned the new sticker after I got the sticker on the cup and put it away, thus emptying drawer one. So all the drawer ones are empty at this point. Well, I take that back. There's actually... AB001 already had some stuff in it. That's where I put the uh, Infinity Stones. They're kind of a special case because anybody who buys a full sprue, those are inventoried for the ones that are in the back of the door. And anybody who buys just a single stone, those are those full sprues in the front. Now, obviously there's full sprues at the moment. If somebody buys a single, let's say orange one, I'll pop one off and, and sell it. If somebody buys, you know, if I run out of the orange ones back here for full sprues, I would consider converting one or more of those to full sprue so I don't run out of it. But, and I did, they're just all in the same door. And I just thought that would be a little easier with a little note on the divider. And then uh, there's a drawer over here that already had some parts in it. I'm not 100% sure why it got parts. I was probably just running out of room, but BD001 had some parts in it as well. So yeah, uh, it wasn't too bad. And most of the parts are pretty easy to track down. The only tough one was one that was supposed to be up here but it was only 59 of a one by four brick. And I'm not sure why it got coded up there um, because 59 is not all that many, but what it ended up being is it ended up being over here. Um, and so I know this was an area that I was recently consolidating stuff to when I was putting away the friend set that was sorted recently. So I think I probably had some of this come in the friend set. I probably had a few to begin with. It was probably in that drawer not sure, and then somehow in the jumble, I screwed it up. So yeah, I just gotta be careful about that. But yeah, there's I think there's a, the errors I made a lot of times recently were errors that I think you're gonna just make. I think you have to be aware that you're gonna make some errors. I was trying not to, but you know, I think my, my first order had an error in it. So it happens and you just have to learn from each one and get past that. Uh, but yeah, so it is uh, Tuesday night, and I'll probably get a little more work done here tonight, but I don't think there's going to be any more video content. And that is all I've got for you tonight, so thank you very much, and we'll see you for some updates on Wednesday. Hello again. It is Wednesday, and uh, yeah, lots of stuff has happened today. Uh, I had people over to help sorting a set that we'd already shown that I opened up and had it all ready to go. Uh, I went and finished paying for the parts that I uploaded last week very efficiently. Uh, while I was there, I also purchased some books. Uh, he had some books for sale, and I picked up these books here. Uh, and one of the people helping me today is 
particularly interested in the birds from Brick's book. So they may be using that to make some of the models that were in there because it gives part counts and instructions. So that's really cool. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the sorting that occurred. Uh, again, we worked over here uh, and we used these tables here. They've been cleared off already. The only thing left over here is the instructions. They do still need to pull out four sets of the three books that are in good shape. Uh, that won't take too long. But you'll see over here, this cart has all the advent calendar trays with the cups in them of the lower quantity parts. And then this cart over here has all the higher quantity parts on it. Um, I only did 16 of this, this particular set and it was a slightly... It was a slightly larger set technically. It should be about 6,500 pieces when done. Uh, I will update that later, but I think that's about what it is. Uh, so we're going to take care of that. Uh, I also had them work on moving all the stuff over here into the crouch space. So all the stuff that was in the way of these drawer units is gone. And that's great because that's where I'm going to roll the carts to put stuff away into all the sections over here. It's a little easier than... Uh, rolling it all the way around. I will roll the one around to put away the parts that are already in drawers, but for the ones that aren't in drawers yet, I'll just leave them stationary. Um, and then also, while I was out paying for the last of those pieces, I stopped at Ollie's and picked up another plastic shelf. So that's been assembled here. Uh, and that is going to have some stuff put on it that is like just supplies and things. I am trying to clear off um, this metal shelf down here these three rather um, one of them has already got the right stuff on it and then this middle one has the boxes of bags in it and then this one has some empty boxes that were taped so those I could use for shipping or whatever uh, and it's got some empty uh, empty containers just a few other things so I want to move that stuff out of here because the end sum is this will be the already cleaned section three shelves and over there, those are the to-be-washed sections. Now those, not all those containers are full uh, or have anything in them, but that's basically how I want it set up. So we'll have um, the 24 categories or 24 bins for the categories, and then I'll have 24 spots over here for them as well. Um, I think one of the next things I'm going to do after I get these parts uploaded is I'm probably going to work on mold sorting, and I might do the large ones up here because there's far less of them and it'll be a little easier uh, and then tile, I think it's going to be the next easiest, then perhaps slope. But modified brick and modified plate are going to be pretty bad. Uh, and I'm actually considering coming up with some ideas on how to subsort the two categories before we do a complete mold sort. Uh, I think that might be helpful. Um, over here, so this table here has got some random stuff on it, some electronic things that I need to deal with. A lot of the sorting containers and picking containers. I've got more tubs over here, but once I get all this stuff new homes, then these will be the next things I probably work on. These parts down here will start to get sorted uh, as bulk sort, and that'll occur on those two wooden tables that are back there. Uh, and I may move some of this stuff here this way a little bit. I also need to fold the rest of these boxes inside out to use over here on top of the white units uh like those two right there a little hard to see with the light but when you get a little closer you can see that i've got two of them up there uh, and i can fit three of them above each of those right there so yeah i'm thinking about doing that uh but yeah we got all sorts of stuff done today and i'm not even done yet i have to work on getting these pieces put away so that's what i'm going to work on now and uh yeah as always thank you very much uh, if you've got any questions or comments please leave them down below uh, we are up over 760 subscribers. Love that. Thank you so much. Uh, and I just, I'm having a good time. And I hope you are too. And thank you very much. Hello again. So it is now Thursday. All the parts from the most recent part out are put away. Uh, I almost finished last night. Uh, my battery is running low on the laptop. And I went upstairs to grab something to eat. And I just, like, I'm not going back down. I didn't even come back down to turn the lights off. Um, and so I did that today and also I had a package arrive. Uh, what is in this package is three of the Star Wars advent calendars that I got from somebody online, uh, to help me get an even number of calendars to part out. 
Uh, so we're going to be working on that next. Uh, I've got most of the rest of them, I think, already parted out. Or at least uh, unboxed from the advent calendars, as these are too. These aren't actual calendars in there. The cardboard is gone. Um, but yeah, that is the next thing I'm going to do. The upload for those 16 of that 3-in-1 uh, set was actually six, a little over 6,800 pieces. Uh, so we're in uh, we're in shooting distance of 390,000. So yeah, I'm happy about that. Uh, 400,000 is on the horizon. Uh, I don't have a lot else to update you with at the moment. Uh, it's been a pretty quiet day so far, but tomorrow we'll probably have a lot more action going on, although I'm going to start in on this tonight as well. Uh, I am actually out of the small dividers for the Acro Mills drawers, at least for the dividers that are on the backs of the units that are already up. Um, so I'm investigating some alternatives to just uh, ordering some, uh, perhaps getting some made, 3D printed or something, and then also perhaps just using some cardboard. Uh, I've certainly got lots of cardboard from the set part out, so that's an option that I can look at. I don't really have a lot of feeling one way or the other. I just got to get around to doing it. Uh, it's not nearly as dreadful a task as the numbering was, and that's done, at least for the time being. So yeah, I'm going to start working on this, and uh, we'll see where that gets us tonight. As always, thank you very much. Hello. So I've got a quick addendum to the video clip that you just watched. Uh, I just opened up the box that had the advent calendars in it, and that's these right here. Um, each of uh, these Ziplocs has one of the calendars. This one is missing four figures. They asked if they could keep those, and I said, sure, that's not a problem. Um, but then there was what I was not expecting. Down below, this is an entire Ziploc of small windows. I have not often seen this many window pieces in one place. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite surprised at all the windows. So we'll have some windows to deal with as well. Uh, but yeah, that's just a quick update, and now I'm going to get to work on all this. Thank you. Hello. Well, it's pretty late. It's technically Friday morning, but it's still Thursday because I haven't slept yet. Um, and I'm still getting the parts for the advent calendar sorted. I've got, it looks like, three bags down there, and then the minifig bags up at the top. Um, but I'm having a system that I'm, it seems to be working pretty well. These are pieces that, when I opened up the bag and I counted them out, <clears throat> like this one, there's one of this piece here, so it means there's 13 total. In this case, there's 26, in this case, there's 39, so on and so forth, because I'm opening 13 copies of the set. However, the 13 of this isn't all. There's more of it. So instead of putting it somewhere else, I'm putting it over here until I get all of that piece, and then it comes over here. Um, the later colors alphabetically are still in the drawers up here, but I've converted the earlier colors to cups uh, and so I'm putting them in cups in alphabetical order so it'll be easier to put away and uh, yeah so I've got a pile of the Ziploc bags over here that I've been was storing them in like you can tell down on the bottom they're still in and uh, yeah that's that's what I've been up to it's kind of mind-numbing in some ways but it's not bad but I'm done for the night I'm gonna go get a snack and then go to bed so Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you on Friday. Hello. It is Saturday. Uh, I did not take any video on Friday specifically, other than the short I released with the Christmas tree and the snow outside. Um, yesterday, I finished putting away the Advent calendar, Star Wars Advent calendar. That was a bit of a bear. Um, the reason for that is I ran out of small dividers. So I had to stop and take time to make dividers to be able to do what I needed to do. And that's all over here. You can see the aftermath of it, the little bits and pieces here on the table. I've got the one divider here that I'm using as a, a jig, so to speak, and I just put it down here, cut around it, continue. Uh, I haven't counted how many I can get in a strip, but this is a, a single Ninjago box. Um, that's one of the panels. And each of the sides, these side panels, this is actually not one of them, but I've already used them, were big enough that I could actually get uh, dividers out of those as well. So that worked out pretty well. Um, I've still got the aftermath of the carts that I had the stuff on over here, supplies and whatnot on them. But I'm really, I'm running short on drawers for new. Um, I need to 
actually go through and find out which drawers there's two different things because there's some drawers like perhaps this one no nope, this one's divided uh yeah here's one uh, this drawer perhaps might be too full i mean it fits but i could move it down into one of these in half a drawer and then free up two slots of a smaller drawer so that's stuff that I had to do in order to get parts in because, you know, it really doesn't make a lot of sense to use a divided drawer for like, you know, seven small parts or whatever it might be. So I've been trying to do that um, and go through and find sections that are the drawer is relatively full and then move it down into a divided drawer because I got plenty of the large drawers. Uh, I think I totally underestimated the need for small drawers for the new parts. Uh, I think part of the thing was, is I was thinking with the quantity of the new sets that I have, and this may end up being the case at some point, that I would end up using a lot of the large drawers uh, for the quantity. And some of them, certainly I am. And the, obviously the pick a brick cups prove that there's even some that don't fit there. And of course the shoe boxes at the end, some of those are new as well. Um, but yeah, I, I need more small drawers. So... I'm not going to be able to get more small drawers anytime real soon. Uh, I would have to have another floater built, which would be roughly where this table is. Um, and I'm not ready for that yet. I got a lot of other stuff I want to get done before that. So two things are going to be on my docket. Uh, one is I'm going to need to hit the used harder because most of the used sections are largely empty. And I've been selling stuff out of them as well. Matter of fact, I had a $200 order that I uh, filled yesterday and then went to the post office today to drop it off um so yeah there's there's that that's great uh it was actually my largest piece count order yet i think it was like 1500 parts i will say they ordered 300 of the technic pins uh of the one style the the black ones the, the ubiquitous common black pins uh and i still have some so it's not even but they did buy me out of a number of larger plates in uh, dark bluish gray and so yeah there's a lot of that stuff there's room for that stuff and i need to go through the categories and do that the other thing is and i think i mentioned this previously is i had the two uprights designated for like one by plate and two by plate and then one by brick and two by brick further down and i've gotten through one by plate and two by plate one by brick and two by brick and in basically every case i've never used the second upright the second column i think a little bit I did use them in a couple of cases, but it's only like a couple of drawers worth. Um, and I think it was down here. Although I'm not seeing it right now. Oh yeah, right there. There's one right there that's in a different spot. So yeah, I mean, I could, I could move them all to condense them to give more room for other areas, but somebody suggested something. And I might go with it. It's a little bit more granular than I was originally thinking, but it's not a bad idea. Um, but make the second column, instead of one by plate for both of them, make it one by plate and then one by modified plate. And then two by plate and two by modified plate. And then the same thing with bricks. You'd have one by brick and then one by modified brick. And then two by brick and two by modified brick. And the concept there is, you know, you're kind of getting the same thing right after it. And it's not causing any problems. I haven't done the modified yet. So that would then mean that over here, where I've got modified plate and modified brick have two columns, hopefully they'll fit in one column over there. And then it gives me four columns over here completely free. Uh, so I could rework a little bit of what I've got space for over here. And then also on the third side, because I do have a third side for used over here. Um, and so like right now, I've only got the one column for minifigures and accessories and stuff like that. I thought I might want more than that. I do have two for Technic and I originally had three and then I forgot the minifigures. So I sliced one of the Technic ones off and gave it to minifigures. Um, but like this column here is wheels, tires, windows, doors, vehicle parts, and also fences and things like that. So that's kind of probably needs more space. Plants and natural have one, which is probably fine. Um, but wedges only have one. That could be a problem. And then slope smooth and slope studded have one apiece. That's probably okay. Um, and then, of course, the other sections that I had over here 
uh, before the modifieds are snot, which is probably okay with one, tile, and then rounds, which I'm pretty sure rounds is fine with one. Um, and then this one is large plate and large and tall bricks. And this one, I, I've gone through some of this uh, because of some of the stuff that I've already processed, but I still have more to do. I have the large brick. I think the large plate has gone in. So yeah, um, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm just not 100% sure what I will designate those four categories for. And it's also, I need to go make sure that I haven't forgotten any categories because that would be another way I could use those four is if I'd inadvertently forgotten a category that needs a spot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to dive into that. I also uh, remember that I have some files for some BrickLink purchases I've made. Uh, some stores that I bought in the pretty much distant past, a couple of years ago now, they're still boxed up. And so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to match up the box, which I think the two boxes are down underneath the table here, um, with the file. And if I can do that, then it'll be much easier to upload the parts. So those are the projects I have on my docket today. So i got a lot going on, uh, and we'll see how far we can get along. And I'll try to come back with another catch-up video either tonight or sometime on Sunday. In any case, thank you very much. Hello again. Uh, I have a little addendum to the last clip. Uh, I ordered something off Mercari and it has arrived. It's underneath my sorting tray. Uh, it's kind of a collectible item. This is the Fifth Avenue New York store opening gift, probably a gift with purchase from 2021. And it's a little Lego guy with a bag. Uh, it came assembled, actually, so we'll take a look at it. It was used, clearly. Uh, the box is in pretty decent shape, though. But let's pull it out and take a look at it. So here's the guy. And I'll get the bag out as well. So there we go. And interestingly enough, if you lift his, his arms articulate, so do the hands, and you can actually set it up if his hand is high enough that he can hold the bag and it would be like readable. Of course, now I'm having trouble getting it to work. I did it before. There we go. So he can hold the bag and his hand could be slightly more forward. And then you can rotate the hand to make up for that. But there he is. He's holding the bag that he got at the Lego store or that he's giving to somebody because he clearly looks like an employee with an apron on. Uh, I looked this up. They have a number of these for a number of different store openings in 2021. And uh, some of them are on the pricey side. Some of them are fairly reasonable. I mean, it's only like 130 pieces or so. At least that's what it says on my box. A different one might be a little more, a little less. But I did notice it's like some of the pant colors are different. Some of them don't have aprons. They just have like a black shirt. Uh, some of them, the logo is offset. It's not in the center. It's off to one side. So there's a few variants, and it's probably depending upon what their uniform looks like in that particular area. But I thought it was a cool little collectible type item, and uh, thought I just wanted to share that. So we are still working on the uh, checking of the stores that I bought, getting that stuff situated. So I'm going to get back to that, and hopefully we'll have an additional video dealing with that. Thank you. Hello. So it is late on Saturday. Uh, I was doing my weekly gaming online. Uh, but before that, I had basically pulled out all of these. I have the file for this. And so I'm going through and I'm slowly starting to identify parts. Uh, a lot of these have part numbers on them. Not all of them. And then in some cases, it's the same part and number of the colors. Um, and then I'm going to be moving stuff into my inventory slowly. Uh, but during the game, I was actually still doing something that was productive for the store. And I spent a lot of time cutting dividers. So this entire container is full of two levels of little cardboard dividers uh, that came from Lego boxes. Uh, so hopefully this will last a good long time. I already went through all the ones I had cut up previously. It's like this is like two boxes worth. But I'm happy about that. I've got that done now. I also have a line on buying some actual dividers if I decide to go that route. But I want to see how long that lasts. 
Um, but yeah, we're going to be going and adding these parts into the store. I've actually started moving some stuff over there just because it was easier to move it to the store uh, right away. I was basically just some minifigures. But that's all I have for you tonight, and I'm going to go get some rest, and then uh, tomorrow will be another day. Thank you. Hello. So I've been working down here on the stuff from the store here that I bought. And there's these bags here and all the stuff in this tote. But I've moved my kind of command center from here over here because it's a little easier. And I also realized there was a slight problem. So what I was doing was I was in the brick store file and I was updating it. You know, I would put away parts. If they stayed in the same place, fine. But if they didn't, I would move them. And I realized if I started getting orders, that's going to cause problems. So I worked diligently, did a bunch of stuff. And then I cut out all the fields, all the lines that I had actually done, put them in a new file and uploaded that. So I'm going to upload it in chunks. Um, and what I've been doing is in one of the fields in the comment field, I've been just putting an F for found, meaning I found the part in the, the store pile that I bought and I verified the quantity. If the quantity is wrong, I'm just going to change it so it's correct. Uh, and then, you know, I've added a price if it needs to, and it's in the place that it says it's in, and I upload it. So probably every day I'll do that. I'll go through and upload. Uh, I did get an order as well in there, and it's kind of what got me thinking about it, although it was used pieces, and this is all new, uh, so it didn't affect anything. And it was only two different pieces, but they wanted 64 of each of them. Uh, and I believe they're both 4x4 four four plates. So somebody's building something. Uh, but in any case, that is what I was working on today. I'm going to take a break a little earlier than normal tonight. Uh, get this, uh, let this rest down here for a while. Tomorrow on Monday, I am expecting Ben. Uh, and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to release a video Monday or if I'll wait and do it Tuesday. Uh, it may depend upon how I feel like uh, taking care of stuff tomorrow as far as the video goes or not. So we'll see. I may end up being Tuesday when you see this or the earliest you could see it. In any case, uh, that is all I've got for this evening, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you. Hello again. It is Monday night. Uh, ben is here working on figure stuff, and I have been pulling orders. Uh, I had a total of five orders to pull, although one of them Ben placed himself, and so I just pulled that separately. But this is the contents of the other order. So you can see order B down there, just two parts in a large quantity each. Uh, C and D kind of average orders. And then A is pretty big. Lots of stuff in that one. Uh, and then Ben's order is over here. I just basically pulled it on a little pour things. And that's just these pieces right here. So not a big deal one way or the other for that. But uh, yeah, so next thing is uh, do a little verification and get the stuff packaged up to go out tomorrow. Um, there may be another video later on. Uh, I did do some additional going through of some of these parts here. And I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these. And if it's in my inventory, I'll put it into the inventory. If it's not, it's going to go over here. And when I'm done with this, I will then go through this and make a brick store file. But I won't upload it. I will hold it. And then basically as I upload new sets and things like that, I will check the inventory again and see if any of these parts hit the inventory because some of these, there's only one or two of, and it would end up wasting a drawer. Uh, I already have some cases of that. I'm not going to worry about pulling them if they're already in inventory, but why adding insult to injury at this point? i got plenty of other stuff to go through here. I've got plenty of stuff to part out to get in quantity, so the few things that will be like a onesie, twosie in here, we'll just hold off on. I mean, you know, that printed tile, maybe somebody wants it, but... The likelihood is slimmer than a lot of other stuff so we're, that's what we're going to do for the time being uh you know i can always go back to this file and pull it up and put some of the parts away if i have a bunch of space up here or if i'm bored for some reason or only have a little bit of time or something like that i can always do that too that's my plan going forward with that and i am going to cut the video here so i can get back to the packing and shipping phases of pulling the orders thank you hello again uh, it's pretty late on Monday night. Uh, ben has gone home. Did a whole bunch of stuff with the minifigure stuff. We go take a look at that. Although there's not really a lot to see in the fact that it's hard to really tell what's happened over here unless you've been here. Um, 
but uh, there's a lot, a lot more organization, and he was going through heads. Uh, we've actually got some head categories sorted up here. I'm just lifting the camera up so you can get a look in there. Um, and then there's down here, so we're kind of sorting it by general types of heads or specific features. I know he said he did a whole drawer of sunglasses that they, where the head has sunglasses. Um, but yeah, so that's what we are, have been up to over here for him. Uh, I, on the other hand, uh, pulled four orders. Uh, and then when Ben got here, Ben placed an order. Uh, and so this is actually the sheet that I printed out with his order because I'd already started pulling the other stuff. And then after I was done pulling the other stuff and I was working on packing it, I got another order. So six orders processed today. Five of them came in today. So today was a busy, busy, busy day. I mean, the most I ever had before was two, so that's more than double that. Um, as you can see, there's kind of a just stuff everywhere because I kind of just left stuff being. I actually have two laptops out because I had Ben pull that last order that came in. Uh, it was easier because I was working on packing stuff up. And it was only four different pieces, just some quantity on a couple of them. Uh, so I got to put these laptops away. But yeah, that's. Uh, that's what's been going on here. I also had a couple of friends over and we kind of hung out upstairs for a while and got food with Ben and whatnot. And then he came back down here and we stayed upstairs for a little while chatting. And then they went home and I came back down here. So yeah, it's been uh, pretty busy, but that's a good thing. In any case, uh, this is gonna be the last segment for the vlog. I'm gonna work on splicing it together and getting it uploaded for your viewing pleasure. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, Thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and we'll see you in the next one.